today we are studying the first chapter rational numbers in this chapter we are discussing properties of rational numbers and in this class i am discussing closure property before that let us have a look on our number system at first we learned the numbers 1 2 3 4 etc these numbers we can call it as natural numbers after that zero is introduced then that a number system start with zero 1 2 3 etc etc that number system we can call it as whole numbers again we extended this number system the numbers which are less than zeros that is negative numbers then zero then positive numbers all together we introduce the new numbers number system it is called integers now in between any two integers we can find out a lot of number which is of the form p by q that is one integer divided by another integer for example 3 by 5 minus 2 by 7 45 by 59 this type of numbers we can call it as rational numbers so rational number we can define as a number which can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 because zero by division is not defined is called a rational number these are all you already learned in class 7 now let us go to the properties of rational numbers before doing properties of rational number you must know the operations on our rational numbers that are addition subtraction multiplication and division before discussing addition of rational numbers be ready with a book and a pen with you i will explain one sum and i will give you two or three sums to do yourself then you pause the video and do it i will give you the answer later here you have to add 3 by 4 and negative 5 by 6 look at the denominator 4 and 6 they are different so first we have to find out the lcm of 4 and 6 4 and 6 divided by 2 you get 2 and 6 3 times now to get lcm do multiply 2 into 2 into 3 lcm of 4 and 6 you are getting 12 now make this 4 and 6 change the denominator to 12 that means take the common denominator 12 now consider 4 and 12 how many fours are there in 12 you know 4 in 3 is equal to 12 so you multiply the numerator with the, this 3 then you get 3 into 3 now put this plus sign now how many 6 are there in 12 you know 6 into 2 is equal to 12 so you multiply this 2 with the numerator that is minus 5 into 2 then you get 3 into 3 plus minus 5 into 2 divided by 12 now let us find it out 9 plus negative 10 by 12 now we had 9 plus negative 10 this is different sign so subtract the numbers and put the sign of the greater number that is negative 10 minus 9 1 sin of 10 is negative then by 12 so negative 1 by 12 is the answer this is how you are adding two rational numbers now i will give you 
three questions. Here is three questions that you do you yourself. Just pause the video and do it fast. And the answer is negative 1 by 24, 1 by 6, negative 17 by 15. Hope you got the correct answer. Now let us go to the property. Here, 3 by 4 is a rational number. Negative 5 by 6 is also a rational number. Now, when we add these two numbers, you are getting the answer as negative 1 by 12. This is also a rational number. Similarly, in all these cases, this is a rational number. Another rational number, if you add, you are getting answer is also a rational number. Here to the same, these two are rational number. While adding, the result also a rational number. In all the case, when we add two rational numbers, you are getting the answer or sum also a rational number. This property we can call it as closure property. So, we can write rational numbers are closed under addition. Now, if we take A and B as two rational numbers, then what about A plus B? Definitely that also will be a rational number. So, we can conclude for any two rational numbers A and B, A plus B is also a rational number. Now, closure property of rational numbers under addition is over. Now, let us check for subtraction. Now, let us see how to subtract two rational numbers. First, we have to add instead of subtraction the additive inverse of the second number you have to add it. That means first you write 5 by negative first number as it is. Then change the sign of the second number. That is 3 by 10. It will become minus negative 3 by 10. Now add these two. That is first you write negative 5 by 8 as it is. Then second number you change the sign of the second number that is additive inverse your rod then instead of minus you have to add now this becomes addition now you can do it first to find out the lcm of 8 and 10 lcm of 8 and 10 you will get it as 40 now take 40 as the common denominator 8 5s are 40 so multiply by 5 into the numerator 10 14 so multiply minus 3 into 4 this you will get as minus 25 plus minus 12 by 40 that is the answer is negative 37 by 40 this is the this is how you have to subtract two rational numbers. Now, I will give you two questions. You have, your question is here. Pause the video and find it out the answer. Your answer is negative 1 by 10, negative 19 by 24. Hope you got the correct answer. Now, let us go to the property. Here 5 by 8 is a rational number, 3 by 10 another rational number. While subtracting the difference you got it as minus 37 by 40. That also a rational number. Similarly here 3 by 10, 2 by 5 is a rational number and the difference negative 1 by 10 also a rational number. Here also 
you got these two are rational numbers and the difference you got that that is again a rational number that means rational numbers are closed under subtraction rational numbers are closed under subtraction this we can write it as rational numbers are closed under subtraction now let me take a and b two rational numbers a and b are two rational numbers then what about a minus b we found the difference also a rational number that means a minus b also a rational number then we can write for any two rational numbers a and b a minus b is also a rational number now let us check for multiplication here 4 by 9 into negative 1 by 2 multiplication is very simple if there is any common number to divide both numerator and denominator that you can cancel it here so we can write here you can divide 4 and 2 by 2 so here 2 times here 2 1 times so the numerator will become 2 into minus 1 by 9 into 1. Therefore, the answer is minus 2 by 9. Now, I will give you two questions. Do it first. Here is your question. Pause the video and do it. You are getting the first one, negative 1 by 10. Second, 3 by 22. Now, let us check the property here. Here, 4 by 9, negative 1 by 2 are rational numbers. The answer negative 2 by 9, the product also a rational number. Similarly, here, 5 by 12, negative 6 by 25, the product negative 1 by 10 all are rational numbers. 3 by 14 is a rational number. Negative 21 by 33 is a rational number. And the answer also a rational number. That means if you multiply two rational number, the product also be a rational number. So we can say rational numbers are closed under multiplication. Rational numbers are closed under multiplication. Now let me take two rational numbers A and B. Then what about A into B? A into B will be also a rational number. So we can write for any two rational numbers A and B, A into B is also a rational number. Now let us go for division. Do you remember how to divide two rational numbers? It is very simple. Take the second number, find out its reciprocal and multiply. That is 8 by 9 into ne the reciprocal of negative 6 by 15 is negative 15 by 6. Now look at the numerator and denominator. If it is, if it can divide by any number, both numerator and denominator, you can do it. Here 8 and 6, you can divide it by 2. Here 8, 4 2s are 8, 3 2s are 6. So 4 and 3. Again, you can divide 3, 15 and 3. Three fives are fifteen, three ones are three. So the numerator will be four into negative five and denominator will be nine into one. Therefore the answer is you are getting negative twenty by nine. Now your questions.
negative 3 by 7 divided by 15 by 28 and second is negative 3 by 7 divided by 0. Do it first. Okay. Your first answer you will get negative 4 by 5. But in the second division by 0, it is not defined. Now let us check the property. Here 8 by 9 is a rational number. Here also a rational number. Now here you are getting an answer also. Quotient also a rational number. Negative 3 by 7 rational number. 15 by 28 again rational number. Here also you are getting answer rational number. But in this case, three, negative 3 by 7 a rational number. 0 is also a rational number. But here you are not getting a rational number as answer. That means division by 0 is not defined and rational number is not closed under division. So we can summarize the closure property as Rational numbers are closed under the operations of addition, subtraction and multiplication. And rational numbers are not closed under division. That is all for closure property of rational numbers. This is the end of the class. Next we will discuss another property of rational number. Thank you. Have a nice day.